செல்வன் பார்ட் ஒன் த நியூ டைட் சாப்டர் ஒன் த ஆடி செலிப்ரேஷன்ஸ் வி இன்வைட் யூ டியர்ஸ் டு அ ஜேர்னி இன் டு த என்லெஸ் எக்ஸ்பேன்ஸ் ஆஃப் டைம் ஆன் அன் இமேஜினரி டைம் மிஷின் லெட் அ ஜூம் இன் டு த பாஸ்ட் அட் அ ஸ்பீட் ஆஃப் அ ஹண்ட்ரட் இயர்ஸ் பெர் செகண்ட் அண்ட் அரைவ் at our chosen destination above a thousand years before the present that is 968 ad to be precise tirumanipadi is a small freedom sandwiched between the mighty kingdoms of chola and thondaimandalam in the southern part of tirumanipadi about 20 miles west of the present day chidambaram is a large water body popularly known as the veera narayana lake the lake is 10 miles long and about 3 miles wide over a period of time the name veera narayana lake got distorted into Viranam Lake by which name it is known today It was the 18th day of the Tamil month of Adi roughly corresponds to August 3rd of the English calendar A young warrior was riding on a horse on the banks of the lake The young man hailed from the Vana clan a clan renowned for its valor his name was vallavarayan bandiyathevan vallavarayan literally means the ruler of vallam a small town near tanjore the horse had been traveling without a break for several hours it was tired it could not gallop as much as it did at the beginning of the journey the warrior did not mind the lazy walk of the animal his mind was fully absorbed in the majestic beauty of the vast lake on the 18th day of adi celebrated as adi perukku all the rivers in the chola kingdom would be flowing to their brim and the lakes the torrent by these rivers would be so full that the water would dash against the banks creating large ripples that resembled the waves of an ocean water came from the river kolarun known as the north kaveri among the religious minded to vadavaru and from there to this gigantic lake making it look like a roaring sea water gushed out of the lake through 74 flood gates making the lands in the vicinity extremely fertile agricultural activities like ploughing sowing seeds and planting saplings were going on in full swing in the fields as far as one could see the farmers and the peasant girls were singing happily vandiyathevan loved the simple music of the farming folk he let the horse walk at its own tired pace releasing the beautiful sight he wanted to know whether the lake really had 74 flood gates or was it an exaggeration he started counting them as he was riding on the bank along the length of the lake after having covered almost the entire distance of the lake he had counted 70 flood gates wow what a gigantic water body the lakes created by the pallava kings in tondai mandalam were mere chess pools besides this gigantic structure vandiya devan knew his history lessons well water from the selrun river was wasted into the sea 
த கிரேட் சோலா பிரின்ஸ் ராஜாதித்யன் சன் ஆஃப் மதுரை கொண்ட பரந்த சோழன் த ஒன் ஹூ வாஸ் அ டெரர் டு ஹிஸ் எனிமிஸ் அண்ட் த ஒன் ஹூ கான்குயட் மதுரை ஆஃப் பாண்டியஸ் கிரியேட்டட் திஸ் ஹியூஜ் ரிசர்வர் ஹி மஸ்ட் பி ஜீனியஸ் அண்ட் த விசனரி தாட் வந்தியத்தேவன் and none could equal prince rajaditya's valor in the battle that was fiercely fought at a place called takolam the prince himself led the army from the front single handedly he met the mighty enemy face to face and in the course of fighting he wore the enemy's spear on his broad chest and died while still remaining seated on his elephant and he was glorified as the king who died atop an elephant the chola kings were a class by themselves they were known as much for their fairness and justice as for their valor they were second to none in their devotion to the lord with these thoughts raging in his mind vandiyadevan had reached the southern extreme of the veeranarayana lake and his eyes feasted on the beautiful sight of the river vadavaru branching off from river kalarun and merging with the waters of the lake the lake was silted for a short distance inside the embankment in the silted area black babel trees and wood apple trees had been thoughtfully planted to prevent the banks being damaged by the floods reeds had grown densely along the bank The new floods coming from Vadavaru in the southwest was flowing through the rows of trees to merge with the waters of the lake viewed from a distance it looked like a beautiful line drawing made by nature the prince of vallam saw a few more things which added to his happiness remember The day was the 18th day of Adi celebrated along the banks of Kaveri and its tributaries as Padinettam Perku It was people's day out they were coming in droves in bullockos covered by ivory color unfurled tender coconut leaves men women and children were all dressed in new clothes and had decorated their faces and bodies bunches of jasmine chrysanthemum gardenia chambaka and iruvachi flowers adorned the braids of women the families carried rich varieties of fancy picnic food Some of them were standing close to the water eating delicacies from Erika box which in those days served as biodegradable non-polluting eating plates some bravely ventured near the banks of Vadavaru river and ate their food while standing in knee deep water the children threw the empty erika box near the edge of the flood gates the box came rushing out of the lake through the flood gates thanks to the force of water flowing downwards the children laughed at the wonderful sight the mischievous among men removed the flowers from their lovers head by stealth and threw them near the flood gates they were delighted to see the flowers coming through the other bank my dear friends here i am concluding this chapter 1 part 2
1. And in the next video, we will continue the chapter 1, part 2. There, we will get the ending of chapter 1. See you all in part 2, chapter 1. And keep watching and don't forget to subscribe English Queen for more interesting videos. Thank you all. Bye.